Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. This is a kind of like a bit of a bonus upload, a quick video today that um, I thought I would film prior to going away. So by the time you're watching this video, if you're watching it when it's been uploaded, we are currently in Finland. Builders are cracking on with the reno at home and we are hopefully, fingers crossed, having the time of our lives, husky sledging, snowmobiling and all of that good fun stuff which I will be vlogging so that will be live on Sunday hopefully if I can get it up in time when I get back if you want to keep posted and see what we're getting up to in real time then head over to my Instagram where you can see I'm sure lots of stories and posts about what we're getting up to but for now prior to going away I have just popped to M&S there's a big Tesco's there as well actually and it's just started raining can you hear that so I'm going to do a mad dash into M&S and have a quick look around fashion homeware. I love a good browse in M&S and I've seen that they've got some new in bits. They've got the Easter chocks out. So yeah, I thought I would um, do a fun little quick M&S trip video today. So make sure to get yourselves comfy with a nice cozy drink, maybe even some snacks because you might get hungry when I show you some of the M&S goodness in the food hall. Otherwise, uh, yeah, hope you enjoy today's video. Let's go shopping and let's see what is new in M&S. Of course, grabbing a trolley. I saw these uh, jeans. They look really nice and high-waisted, a bit like the ones I'm wearing today, actually. Um, mine are from Primark though, but they are the slim ankle greys, if you can tell on the model there, they are quite short though, but maybe good for any petite girls out there. Oh, in fact, no, they do do like a long version as well. They are £35, just a really nice colour denim. I've got a little snippet of what I would say like kind of spring dresses, like these kind of like warmer fabrics, long sleeves. Uh, but dresses nonetheless and obviously as you can tell lots of greens as well this one's kind of like a light denim 39 pound 50 it's got a really nice tie waist as well love both of these trainers these ones are kind of like duping the beige ones 45 pounds and then they've got the kind of new balance dupe again at 45 pounds which one do you prefer the black or the white so again they kind of remind me of my chloe one a little, a little bit £39.50 for the large and £29.50 for the mini one, which is quite small. You could probably just about get your sort of like phone purse in there, but yeah, so cute. It's got quite a few knitted vests. This like camel colour at 22 This striped one again at £22.50. This one's got like a polo neck. £25 this one. Quite a few stripes. We've got this green striped shirt. I love this kind of crew neck sweatshirt. This one is £27.50. Again, more striped shirts, striped jumpers, striped knitwear. I love the neckline and the length of this one, £35. Quite like a thick knit and it's got a split hem at the bottom as well but yeah really really nice nice color nice quality they've got some gorgeous trenches in this one's more of like a stereotypical trench 59 pounds then they've also got this quite plain and simple one which i quite like the cut of there's more of them over here they are 65 pounds those ones but i really like them i think they look really smart maybe something that you would see in like cods again more stripes but i also spotted this black trench which i think is something a little bit different and then i've also spotted this leather skirt which i've been after something like this for i've got some gucci tights which honestly i've never worn well in fact having said that this one's got quite a bit of texture to it which i'm not a fan of i just want a plain faux leather skirt so any recommendations let me know a couple of gorgeous blazers this one's definitely more of like a well i say lightweight but it's more lightweight than the other one 59 gorgeous deep olive color and then this one i love it's like a hound's tooth 69 pounds but it's quite thick so i feel like for wintry months still this one's going to carry you through i feel like you can't really go wrong with like a nice tailored coat 49.50 so affordable and they do one in black and then also this really wearable kind of beige color and then if you're brave enough they also have a like bubblegum pink perfect for spring I feel like they're still very much on the autumn winter there's not that much stuff for spring there's definitely spring colors like this but still very much wintery pieces. Again, sticking with more stripes, they've got this kind of like crew lightweight basic jersey tee from the autograph range. This one is 29.50. Um, and then I also spotted this thicker knit and thicker jumper, 69 pounds that one. This one feels lovely. Again, it's from 
autographs. I think that's like a little bit more expensive, isn't it? They also have this gorgeous leather blazer. Again, a little more premium. It's from autographs. It's £199, this one. I feel like it's definitely one that could be dressed up or down that one. I'm a big fan of this quarter zip from the Good Move section. It's from made from recycled polyester. £59, <clears throat> but they've only got a 20 or a 22. Um, but I really, really like it. I like the quilted. I like this kind of like coziness, as you can tell. I'm a fan of the cozy vibes. Again, from the Good Move, moisture wicking at £29.50. And it's kind of like, I wish they had like a matching bottom actually um, to make it like a full jogger set, but it's kind of like a cropped, semi cropped. Um, basic like sweatshirt but it is so soft if you could feel the softness of this it's incredible so I'm in the changing room now I've only actually brought a few things in to try it on um, I love this bodice well I'll try those all on I try to get like a kind of selection of like capsule pieces for moving into spring so yeah let's start trying on I thought I'd just show you what I'm wearing today as well before I start getting changed so this kind of striped knit that I've got on underneath is from H&M. They've got a few different colours of this one. I've got some jeans on from Primark, my Anina Bing trainers. And then this is that find that I got from TK Maxx, this coat. It was like six pound, was it? Six or nine pounds on the rail. Um, a Chanel bag. This is what the H&M one looks like without that coat on. Just nice and simple. Like the length of it, especially at the back as well, because sometimes I just wear it with leggings as opposed to jeans. So this is the first jumper. This one is £27.50. It's just black and white, as you can tell, and because of the material of it, it's like a really soft, um, it's got like a soft, fuzzy bit on the inside, so very cosy. I have just tucked it in, but untucked, it is, I would say, it's not cropped, it sits at your hip level. I'll try and link all of these items that I mentioned just so that you can easily find them online if it's something that you want to um, have a look at. I couldn't resist bringing this trench in. This was the plain one of the two that I showed you and I just really like it. I think it's so simple, looks so expensive. It's 65, which I think for a good quality trench that's gonna last you into spring and into summer for those cooler summer days. I just think it's really, really great value. So this one is in a UK 10. I would have ordinarily for a trench gone up to a 12 maybe, but having said that, I have got obviously this crew neck jumper still on and it still fits perfectly fine on the sleeves with movement. I'm really tempted to pick this one up. Do I get it? Do I not? I do love it. So this is the boiler suit. I think it's just one of those things that is so effortless that I think it's such an easy outfit to put together because let's face it, it's just one, one item, but looks really nice. And it's got this kind of like gold detailing, tie waist, the pockets on either side, collar on the top as well. And it's quite a nice length on me. I'm five foot four just over five foot five for reference and I would probably pair it with trainers and yeah it doesn't they don't drape on the floor they're not too short they're just a good length this is a size 10 can you see I don't know if it's pulling up on camera there but the bottom's quite dirty so I'm gonna go see if they've got another 10 in my another 10 in my size another one in my size easy peasy work where appropriate drinks appropriate casual it's a thumbs up for me for this one I really really like like it and the quality I mean this isn't a pay partnership with M&S however if you do want to work with me let me know but um yeah I, I just I really like it and last but not least this is the suit that I brought in it's a very lightweight again perfect for transitioning into spring um the blazer I got in a size 12 and it's 79 pounds and the trousers I got in a size 10 but they are a little bit too big so it's definitely sized down in these ones I think I'm gonna go and see if they do have an eight actually the <sighs> thing is they're, they're a bit loose but I won't want them any tighter on the legs I might try an eight and see how it compares but these ones are 59 pounds and then I've just got a basic one of their basic crew neck tees on these ones are £8.50 these basics so again I'll leave that linked along with the other items but yeah lovely suit just dress it down with some chunky trainers um good length as well for that if you did just want to go for flats that's what they look like from the side I'm really hoping that they'll have another 10 in that boiler suit if not I feel like I might order a fresh one online just so that they're clean 
clean and fresh. And then the other thing that I'm really tempted for is that um, trench. It is just so nice. I'm gonna think on it, I'm gonna think on it. But yeah, I'm gonna to head to the homeware section now, have a little shop around there. Homeware in M&S is my fave, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and then check out the food section just real quick before heading back and sharing with you anything that I do pick up. I love these candlesticks. I feel like they are great white company dupes, £9.50. And the thinner one is £12.50. So that one fits like a larger pillar candle. Um, and then also I loved these uh, ribbed glass vases at £12.50. I feel like they've got some really nice new in bits actually. They've got some Easter bits over there. So I'm gonna go have a look at those as well now. Is it just me or does anyone else feel like this range is kind of like imitating or duping the uh, what they called Penhaligons? I feel like they look a little bit like them. Uh, they are £18 each. Then this provenance range, these are 100% duping the Erin fragrances. I feel like that lid just looks so similar. Um, but they have some really nice sounding scents and they've got these little kind of discovery kits as well if you just want to try them all out they are four pounds um that one sounds nice santorini days and then this one the fragrance society reminds me very much of the molten brown especially like with this branding here even the scent black pepper vetiver and coriander molten brown do a black pepper one that's just like that as well how gorgeous is this i feel like that would have been absolutely perfect for like a little valentine's gift no we're too late for that now but it's the seashells, which obviously is duping the white company Seychelles um, scent. But yeah, you get a wax melt burner and also little wax melts in there. And it is £20. They also have this set of wax melts, which again, some more white company dupe scents, as well as Jo Malone as well with Pear Blos Blossom and Freesia. They have English Pear and Freesia in Jo Malone. Same with Lime Bergamot Mandarin, Lime and Mandarin, Pomegranate, Pomegranate Noir. Blush Peony in Jo Malone's Peony and Blush Suede. So yeah, very, very similar scents. If you want just the wax melts, then you can get 20 for 13 pounds. We're back home and we are two bags. Of shopping down and I did get a few little food bits actually so I'm just gonna run through what I did pick up you may be able to tell from the bags no clothing that trench I am actually really interested in so we'll see we'll see and as for the boiler suit they didn't have another one in my size anyway I thought I would share with you the bits that I did buy firstly this I just had to pick up. Honestly, they had one on display and I thought, oh, I'm going to get that. It's all matte black and it's a set of this tray and a couple of other smaller like candle plate trays, perfect for the botanical candles that the White Company do. And then they've also got this care kit. So you've got a wick dipper, which is apparently the best way to blow out your candles because then it prevents like soot um, and smoke and then a little wick trimmer and that's like a snuff type thing snuffer so this was 25 pounds which was i think the most expensive thing i bought but i did really like that so i thought that would make a lovely set and they're the sort of things that you can have out on display as well those like wick trimmers and stuff so anyway i also got this cute little duo set it's like a rustic kind of irregular shaped set of candle holders like for the pillar candles uh, so it's £9.50 for the larger one and six oh no £7.50 for the smaller one I also got a another pack of these reeds that they do they're really good just to refresh you read diffusers these ones are just the plain black ones and you get 20 in a pack for £2 is it 
three pounds. They've gone up because they used to be two pounds. In their apothecary range, they've got some new bath oils and they're in these like amber glass bottles. So I gave them all a whiff and this one, the Restore scent is the one that kind of drew me in the most, which apparently with essential oils, that's how you're meant to decide which one to go for. Not which one do you necessarily like the most, but which one you're drawn to. Well, yeah, as when which one you like the most, which one you're drawn to the most is the one that you're craving the most. So for me, out of calm, balance, sleep, this is the one that I apparently am in need of. Restore. Geranium, cedarwood, eucalyptus, and lavender. So next bath that I have, I'm gonna be having this. These were £8.50. I'm not sure if this was men's or not, but they had a range of different fragrances and products from this range. Mont and Wild, Monty and Wild. And they had these talcum powders, again, in a few different scents. I went for the bergamot and cedarwood because I gave the colognes a scent and that was the one that I liked the most. I love using a talcum powder, okay? Granny over here. And I thought it would be nice to get a nice little treat talcum powder. These were three pounds. I also got this and it's from the Ragdale Hall Spa range. They've got loads of like beauty products, but especially like foot care. And I just thought this sounded so nice. Foot therapy, cooling foot spray. So imagine taking that on holiday, holiday with you. It's got essential oils of peppermint and lavender. So it smells amazing. Gave it a sniff in store. It smells fab. But imagine that, yeah, on holiday to just spritz. Like you've got a face mist and then you've got a foot mist. I don't know, I just thought that sounded nice. I think that might be it for like home stuff. Then I just got a load of like food bits. I did treat us, they did have the Easter things out. I feel like they've got more coming, but they did have quite a good selection so far. We got one of these last year and they are so good. I don't really class this as an Easter egg because it's one of these chocolatey round Easter, like it is hollow, but it's thick. I remember it from last year, like you can see. It's got loaded with biscuit bits on the box. That's what it's like. So yeah, we got one of those. I got one of those for us to, to have. Um, oh, then I saw these in the freezer section and they had the bacon and cheese ones, which I love, but I've never seen these ones before, mushroom and cheese. You just pop them in an oven. We've got an air fryer, so we just use that as an oven. And I thought I would give that a go, maybe for my breakfast tomorrow. It's got two in a box. They also had some of their uh, Valentine's Day bits in still, but they were all reduced because obviously, even though the dates were fine on them, it was, Valentine's is gone. So I got the handmade love bao buns. And I also picked up one of the um, Share the Love sausage rolls. Got a couple packs of microwave rice. The egg fried rice is my favorite one. These are, I think they're like 60 to 80p. I also am gonna try these. Now I've tried coffee bags before, but they're essentially like a stronger filtered coffee type quality of coffee, not just like an instant coffee. And they're in a bag, like essentially how you would brew a tea bag. I obviously went for decaf, because that's my preferred option. I also got these in the freezer section. These sounded lovely. They had loads of different flavors. They are six mini bites in the birthday cake flavor. I thought they looked like the mochi, like little moon type things, but they're not. They're cookie dough wrapped in, sorry, Cookie dough coated in festive full sprinkles. Festival sprinkles is how they describe it. But yeah, 107 calories per bite. I thought that would be a nice little dessert treat. Needed some black pepper. I also got this for today. I'm just gonna treat myself. You're the sweetest thing. And they've got these Victoria muffins. They're delicious. I also got these for the freezer. These all butter croissants that you just again pop in the oven or air fryer. I love these as well. Ginger immune support shots, daily shots. I feel like I am, this is an expensive habit to have. To have one of these every single day, I think they're about three or four pounds for a set of three, but obviously when you make your own, it lasts a lot longer. We just don't have like a hob to boil things on. And then um, I also got this, which for hot chocolates, I thought I would switch up by using a chocolate cream. And I can't find this anywhere else, but I know like sometimes Hotel Chocolat, if you go in and get a hot chocolate, they put chocolate cream on top. So I picked that up. And then again for today, I've just got myself one of these super grain salads. I also got some more of these spiced apple infusion tea bags. They are fab, I got them at Christmas and was sad when they ran out. And I thought they might've been like a seasonal edition, but 
looks like they are out all year round. And then these were on the clearance at 80p and it's just a house brown sauce. I'm more of a ketchup girl, but Tom likes ketchup and brown sauce on his sausage butties. So pick that up for him. But yeah, that's everything that I got. I hope you enjoyed coming to MS with me, having a nice little browse. And yeah, I hope you are all really, really well again. If you want to see what we're up to in Finland, head over to my other socials, TikTok and Instagram, where you can see what we're getting up to. Stay tuned for Sunday, where hopefully I will have a Finland vlog for you. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all very very soon in my next video. Bye guys!